the moon is a mysterious mistress. What do you want? Yeah, yeah. I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, bitch. All right. Sorry. It's just that. I mean, something is. I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. I, I don't know. I mean, when it comes to video, I've seen everything. And I do mean everything. This thing, it's sick. It, it can't be real, but it is. I know it. It's real, and it scares the hell out of me. Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl, the things that are happening to her, it just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. Every place I go, wherever I look, I see things. In the shadows. My phone rings. I hear something breathing on the other end and... Shit. I'm out, man. I'm out of this whole thing. I have it. I stashed it someplace. Look, you need to find Ginger Swans. Huh? What the hell was that? Shit, did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. Good time. Hand me the item. I didn't doubt you'd find this. And I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first... This tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Behind the spit-shine gloss of the Hollywood Dream Factory, there's another city churning out a vile byproduct for the furtive consumption of a debauched audience. 
I have no doubt the film's found its way to another smut peddler. I'd ask around. Certainly. The Nosferatu? I pity them, but I loathe their presence. I deal with them when it's necessary. I know they're beneath my city somewhere, but only they know where. They respect my streets, and I keep my politics out of their sewers. But I don't trust them by any stretch of the word. Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? Really? You a cop? All right, listen. I'll tell you a little bit, but if anyone comes asking, you never heard it from me. They produce only the most hardcore video. I'm not even talking black market here, more like black hole market. Not the kind of product you want to get mixed up in. The kind of stuff that gets you put in jail for just talking about it, all right? Snuff Films is just the tip of the iceberg. I only seen one of their videos, and, and I swear I couldn't eat for a week. Real enough that every cop in five states has been trying to track these guys down. They are bad news, pal. You want some advice from me? Stop thinking whatever you're thinking and get your ass back to Kansas. Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, get the hell out of here. Uh, okay. Look, all I know is that a guy calls on the payphone down the street every once in a while. He'll say something like, the moon is a terrible mistress or some creepy shit like that. And then all you have to say is, who walks the night with demons of dread? Supposedly, you'll be told where to meet the guy to pick up product. I don't know for sure. I, uh, I'd never tried it. It scared the shit out of me. Hey, wait. Look, you might as well know this. Word on the street is that they didn't even make the video. They're just distributing it. No one even knows where it comes from. I'm telling you, man. Whatever you're in, get out of it now. The moon is a mysterious mistress. The Lucky Star Motel, room two, don't belong. Night eating you? Already? Man, that's early for tonight. Oh well, I'll, I'll, I'll call the cops, but who knows when they'll show up. To protect and serve, right? <laughs> Feel free, babe. This is a treasure trove of human banality. Working here, you meet lots of types of men. You, you get stories, you get characters, you know. This this kind of place where writers go to study.
stole it, found it in the creepy house in the hills. We just copied it and put our names on it. Worse than anything we ever did. Worst thing I ever saw. Please, please, just, just get me out of here. Oh, no. This is no doubt the work of a fiend. Hand me the tape. There might be something on it that will give us some insight into what its motives are. in the tape. I know it. It's in the hills. King's Way, if I'm not mistaken. My guess is that the fiend that made this tape is using these creatures to hound the Nosferatu, which would explain their sudden absence. They're trapped. Well, it's unfortunate that the prince needs you to see the Nosferatu, because it looks like this fiend knows how to get at them, and I doubt he's going to draw a map for you. Looks like King's Way is your only way in, unfortunately. I can have a car drop you off when you're ready. If I don't hear from an Osferatu within the next few nights, I'll tell LaCroix he's going to need a new leading lady and march a few of my own troops up there. If I may give you one final word of warning, do not trust LaCroix. Do not play the damned politics of the Camarilla. This city hasn't needed them in a long time, and won't ever. That's for you to decide. I only know who you can't trust.
see your face is not so lifeless. Your nerves not so deadened that you cannot express shock. Tell me, child, is my appearance that frightening? Or is it my knowledge of you that is so unnerving? Oh, child of Cain, the sights in this haven pale in comparison to my ancestral estate. Comfort is a custom, and all of this artifice brings me closer to my home. Do not fear for my furniture, young one. Oh yes, the tape. Merely a test. Certainly not intended to fall into mortal hands. Fortunately, we are in a capital of mortal trickery and illusion. So did the tape drive you to find me? From whence flows your longing, child? To gouge out the eyes of the Camarilla. The sewers are clogged with my creations. I will kill or drive the Nosferatu from their pestilent nests. Without the sewer rats to guide them, the Camarilla will be blind to the Sabbat's designs. It is not for me. It's for the will of the Sabbat. The Camarilla is stunted. Dead and festering in the womb, good only as pawns of the fathers. Even now, they answer the call of the ancient and seek to free him from his torpor. He slumbers within the uncarn sarcophagus, one of the fathers whose return shall hearken the reckoning. Guhena is at hand, and the Camarilla are unwittingly speeding us all toward our doom. Blessed creatures, I have broken through their mortal crust and drawn from them their greatest strength, mutability. I coax bone, weave flesh, and lay sinew tight until it strains to lash out. Illegals, mongrels, half-bloods, and caitiff, the bane of society, kindred and kin. They are as of little consequence to authority as they are to me. It is a culling of sorts. Perhaps, but they are exquisitely functional. Still, there's an uncanny elegance to even this, my most mercenary of designs. Revulsion is instinctual, and instinct is a powerful level to work toward. To evoke it, a glorious accomplishment. Revulsion is a striking color on my palette. I see wonderment in your dead eyes. You long to wield such power as deftly as I. You are instantly known to me. I smell your vitae and can imagine the taste of your viscera on my talons. Ah, yes, it's in the blood, strong and balmy. It is not yours to hide, child. Do not fear your nature, child. Your body is not a dead husk, but a chrysalis, a beastly splendor. Embrace it. I can take your body, this passing mortal machine, and reshape it into an engine of canine fury. Now, Cain.
Camarilla in the world. Let me see you fight your nature in the face of those who have embraced their beast. Deny yourself Cain's gifts and be torn asunder by my minions. of achievement, young Toreador. Someone of your character doesn't come in here every night. I'd like to give you something. It's not much. Just my way of letting you know that the Barony of Hollywood appreciates your service. I'm glad to see the blood of my clan has found its way into the right people. Hopefully you won't spill it foolishly in some pointless display of fealty for that Dan LaCroix. Come by in a little while. I should have something for you then. Trace on me. All right. Take that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I hope you backed off that server tonight. Boss is gonna be real pissed when his mom starts getting love letters from porn sites. <sighs> what? Oh, yeah. Hold on a sec. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he really opened it. I can't believe he just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnip. I'm in charge of computer systems, network, security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? LaCroix's girl. Surprised you actually made it down here. <laughs> I've been following your progress on the cameras. Handled yourself pretty well with all of the creepy crawlers and the sewers. Like a bad sequel to Chad up there. <laughs> Nothing I could do from here. Those old sewer systems are wired with punch cards and vacuum tubes built back in the technological dark ages. Sorry, but I don't do analog, newbie. <laughs> Go ahead. What, the Warrens? Not much to tell. Just a bunch of us living down here, trying to stay off the radar. It ain't pretty, but it's home. Gary's the big man on campus. He's running the show. Yeah, he knows why you're here. LaCroix must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with Gary, sheriff or no sheriff. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> Go ahead. Me? Like I said, I'm, I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep a pulse on the street. At the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the, sh the ne network. <laughs> no, nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. I'm trying to add a few more network hubs in the city so we're covered in case of emergency. 
that Gary doesn't want anyone leaving until this whole thing with LaCroix blows over. Which basically leaves my freaking cheese hanging in the wind. Yeah, you, you do that. Man, that would really help me out. I could hook you up along the way. Make it worth your while. I got access to all kinds of goodies. <laughs> Oh, uh, I, I, I need a little time to set things up. Te technical details. I'll send an email to your haven and tell you what needs to be done. That's all you need to know for now. Me? Before all this, I was a hacker. Good one, too. There wasn't a system I couldn't crack. Telcos, DOD, you name it. One time, <laughs> I emailed. President all the nuclear missile activation codes. <laughs> and the FBI was shitting their pants. <laughs> but one day I went across the system. Oh, totally dark. Unbelievable security. I fried three laptops trying to bust it. I worked on it for months. Did, didn't sleep much at all. I'd almost given up. But I caught a lucky break one night and finally broke in. It was, uh... Nosferatu database. Not even a really important one either. Which was probably the only reason I cracked it. I dug around for a while, got totally freaked out, and I unplugged. Two hours later, guess who shows up at my door? Gary. <laughs> and voila, here I am. Are you kidding? <laughs> I love this shit. I mean, yeah, I'm not gonna win any beauty contests, but I wasn't too good looking before anyway. Now I get all the cool new toys, plus I just happen to get to live forever. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Tawny Sessions was before I left the scene. She'd still be a fluff girl at Vivisection, making ten bucks a stiff if I'm still around. <clears throat> Tawny Sessions is a wannabe face girl with no talent whatsoever and scabby little knees. Do you know she got model of the year? Before I got here, she would have had a hard time making the catalog for Jacques Penet. What? You've got to be kidding me. She is so Katie Smith before the nose job. Ugh, I want to peel her face off with a nail file. Oh, right. You probably don't recognize me with this whole Texas Chainsaw Massacre thing I've got going on here. My name is Imalia. Last name? God, that's so blue collar makes me want to puke. I don't have a last name. Imalia's a look, an attitude. A state of being. What did you say? Nobody talks that way to me. I'm Amalia. Do you hear me? Amalia! Cemetery run off. What? I want you to get the hell out of here right now and never come back! Out! Get out!
by the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about 40 years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. We are talking, but you aren't listening, boss. You're used to getting what you want, aren't you lovely? People just love your charisma, your face. They eat your words up like the rats eat the cheese in the trap. Oh, boss, where do you think you are? Do go on. You may be on to something, boss. Or maybe you're still talking to yourself. Insanity isn't given enough credit. The insane know not what they do. Do you? I'll show you the cards I've been dealt. But you put yours on the table first. Maybe I'm a ghost. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't tell me you just stumbled down here. What I need to know is why you're here. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? <laughs> I want to stick your lovely face in a piranha tank. I want to apply an acid glaze to your sculptured body. I want to throw your pocket mirror under a thresher and watch you fetch it. But I'm no butcher, boss. Are you? You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on his snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the prince. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. I like to discuss business face to face. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Careful what you wish for. You just might. Get it. <laughs> Behind you, boss, 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 boss. Boom! Oh, God, Toreador. You vainglorious narcissistic poser. How I loathe that determination of your kind to belie your true nature with Paris fashions and pomp. You are a dead thing, a creature of the shadows. Start acting like one. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Sit and look pretty. Pretend you never died. Do some finger painting. What a pathetic waste of blood. What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. Little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just... Gary. Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than Mae West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Oh, my hero. Had it not been for that damn Shamisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but... I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? <laughs> That's a good one, boss. 
You've been feeding near the skids again? The Quajin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. <laughs> Welcome to Undeath, boss. Ain't it a hoot? You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown. I'll give you what you need. Hey, save yourself some time, boss. You've got no bargaining power. I know Prince Pris is breathing down your neck every second you keep him from his prize. Close your mouth, chew on the resentment, and open your ears. The Golden Temple in Chinatown. It's a piss-poor copy of a real place. Looks like it'd be more at home in a theme park. That I saw is where you'll find the leader of the L.A. Kui Jin. They call her Ming Zhao. Sounds dangerous? No, this ain't a suicide mission, boss. You'll be more of a curiosity than a threat. Talk to Zhao, ask her where my boy is, and get him back. Once he's safe, I'll tell you everything you need to know about the sarcophagus. Not that I know of. It's like the eye of the hurricane right now. Don't make those winds blow, boss. Let's see what I got. For one of your kind, it ain't gonna be cheap. That thing behind that pretty face of yours is called a brain. If you want to survive in Chinatown, I suggest you use it. Or if all else fails, you could just use your pocket mirror to blind them. <laughs> of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> there is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. Whatever you say, boss. Remember, boss, that's their kingdom. Start testing them. You won't like the results. Just get our boy back. Miss me, boss? <laughs>